So Black River Road uh, was a project that was in um, GSAS's long range plan, they call it their um, Metropolitan Transportation Plan. Um, back uh, in 2015, 2016, um, it was asked by City of Georgetown uh, to uh, look at funding this project, um, which was approved. Um, with this project, uh, we have already acquired the majority of the right of way. Um, we have two tracks left. Um, those are um, on hold currently. Um, we are essentially ready to go uh, to construction within, um, I would say, another eight months. Uh, we would need to secure all of the tracks and, and get everything from our standpoint. Um, one thing, you know, we have to work with is, is of course, city um, you know, staff and, and all the utility providers in the area to make sure they have a good plan for uh, relocating along with our project. And I believe that's where the question comes in tonight with um, the city seeking funding. Uh, I don't want to say anything. I'm, okay, all right. The city seeking funding for relocation of the uh, power lines. So that is, um, you know, something, uh, I'm not going to say unique, but um, it's one of the first projects where, you know, the city actually owns the power. Um, that, that I've dealt with. So uh, the city owns the power, so they, they, I believe you guys are seeking funding for uh, relocating the power lines. So. Well, if, it's, if it gets on the list, the request is for a million dollars for the city to move the electric poles yes, um, because the city doesn't have any budget to sure. move the electric poles. That's right. That's, that's, right. Why, it's, that's why we are where we are. Yes, ma'am. And um, as far as like other major Utilities on the project, um, usually water, sewer, gas, um, any pressurized systems are usually a uh, high priority for us. Uh, water and sewer, I believe the city owns um, as well. But there was a bill passed back in 2017 um, from the legislator that, legislature that um, SEDOT or any uh, transportation entity has to pay um, for the relocation of those water and sewer lines so as part of the project. So that is included um, in our budget. Uh, which is, you know, from, from GSATS, I guess, their budget. Um, so um, that's where we are um, today. We're, we're sort of um, on hold um, right now until, you know, we get everything with the utilities um, sorted out. Um, as far as the congestion standpoint, you know, the amount of volume along Black River Road today is, is approximately 11,000 cars. Um, we anticipate that we design out for 20 years um, from our uh, what we call our design year, which right now is 2042. <coughs> so we look at 2042 and we're anticipating around 14,000 cars. So not a, a huge jump um, to this corridor and, and not anything alarming from an intersection standpoint as far as traffic is concerned. Yeah, there's a lot of trees um, that will be coming down on that side. Um, All of them? <clears throat> where you see the widening, yes, ma'am. We don't have anything with SCDOT um, as far as replacing trees. We would work with city staff. Um, you know, um, we could add that to our project, not you know funded by GSAS, but could add it to our contractor to replace um, any type of tree. But so do we need to add that to our budget, to our million dollars of electricity? Then? I, yeah, that would be up to y'all, but yes, we could oh, add that to our project. Yes, sir. I'm sure the hospital would say, hey, you know, if this was a significant impact, we would we would help with that expense, wouldn't we? I mean, those are specimen trees. We've got to go back with it. Something we got to bring back, yeah. I mean, you, city. Wouldn't say, you wouldn't say right now, Carl, that no, that's something you would not do. No. Okay. From our perspective, it's, it's more than just about widening the road. There are a lot of other improvements that I think it's important to point out. Uh, of course, the widening is the most important thing. Um, our staff, our patients, Others face significant challenge, particularly during peak periods, getting in and out of Highlands Georgetown Memorial Hospital. Like I mentioned earlier, we have about 500 employees who come to that facility every single day. I believe it is the largest private employer within the city of Georgetown. I know the health system as a whole is the largest private employer in Georgetown County. In addition to that, we have a lot of patients and a growing number of patients who are accessing uh, that facility. Since 2019, the overall number of visits of patient encounters to that facility has grown by about 80%. Uh, we currently have about 189,000 patient encounters uh, projected this year at Highlands Georgetown Memorial Hospital, in part that's because we've been introducing new services to that facility, including rehab, orthopedics, pain management. The primary driver behind that is it basically gives its ease of access for our patients.